In my opinion, the best obstacle a protagonist can encounter should be himself. Pure external obstacles are melodrama obstacles. They comfort our position of victim. Usually, we rather learn and grow from dealing with our own flaws. As Cassius tells Brutus in William Shakespeare's Julius Caesar, the fault is not in our stars, but in ourselves. Sometimes the obstacle is external, but it has an internal origin. See this excerpt from The Gunfighter, written by William Bowers, William Sellers, and Andre de Toth. Hey! Just give me the drink, will you? You bet your life, Jimmy. <laughs> you know who that is? Who? Jimmy Ringo. Well, what do you know? Nice to see you again, Jimmy. Thanks. You remember the old buckhorn in Paso? Yeah, you worked there? Five years ago, when Tim O'Leary had it. He don't look so tough to me. Well, if he ain't so tough, there's been an awful lot of sudden natural deaths in his vicinity. How many do you figure? 10, 12, 15. Depends upon who's telling it. I bet he ain't as fast as Wyatt Earp. God City, places like that, they say he is. Just two hands like anybody else. Yeah, the same number it looks like, but... Oh, now, wait a minute, Eddie. You ain't thinking of doing nothing foolish, are you? You mean you're so tough I can't even talk to him? I mean, this ain't no joke, boy. It's a real mean man there. I just want to see how a great, big, important fellow like that handles himself, that's all. What's wrong with that? I'm telling you, Eddie, I wouldn't do it if I was you. Hey, Chuck. How about a little service down here? That's if Mr. Frazzlebottom or whatever his name is don't object. Eddie, don't you know who this is? You mean it ain't Mr. Frazzlebottom? It's Jimmy Ringo, Eddie. Well, it looks like Mr. Frazzlebottom to me. <laughs> Ever heard anybody kid like him? How about a drink, Mr. Frazzlebottom? No, thanks. How's that, Mr. Frazzlebottom? Eddie, please. Please what? I asked the man to have a drink with me. What's wrong with that? How about it, Mr. Frazzlebottom? Okay, partner. Uh, I know Mr. Frazzlebottom wasn't going to pass up a free one. Don't you understand, Eddie? This is Jimmy Ringo. All right, so it's Jimmy Ringo. So what's everybody supposed to do, fall on their knees? Well, you can be a little polite, at least. Mr. Ringo, Chuck figures you got a little extra consideration coming to you around here, is that right? No. Nope. How's that, Mr. Ringo? You'll have to speak up if you want me to hear you. Why don't you button up your britches and go home? How'd you like to try to make me, Mr. Ringo? Now listen, partner. I come in here minding my own business. Now, how about letting me go out the same way? I want to know first what you meant by that remark you just passed. Tell you what. You just bought me a drink. Now I'll buy you one and then we'll drop it. What do you say? Give him a drink for me. Never mind a drink. I want to know what you meant by that remark you passed. Listen, Eddie. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to Mr. Ringo. I want to know what you meant by that remark you passed. How come I got to run into a squirt like you nearly every place I go these days? What are you trying to do, show off in front of your friends? Are you ready to back up that remark or not? And what about this? Ain't some of you fellas in charge of this donkey? I'm telling you, Mr. Ringo! Eddie don't mean no real harm, Mr. Ringo. Then let Eddie keep his big, ugly nose out of my business if he don't want to get it slapped. Did you see that? Yes, sir. He drew first. Do you see it? Yeah, I saw it. Yes, sir, I saw it. Except I'd get on out of town anyway if I was you. Why? Because he's got three brothers that ain't gonna care who drew first. All right. Everybody stay where you are. Jimmy Ringo has to deal with two obstacles. His own reputation, which is an internal obstacle, and the young men who want to challenge him 
which are external obstacles. But since Ringo has made a rod for his own back, these external obstacles have an internal origin. They wouldn't exist without Ringo's reputation. In The Gunfighter, the protagonist is not a victim of society or poor weather or bad luck. He's a victim of himself. And that makes for powerful drama. Hats off to the screenwriters. Mm -hmm.